Hey guys, it's me, Aqua, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Why is there a slime present? So, it's been a little bit since I recorded the last episode, but I have also done lots and lots of work. So if we can look in these one chest, yeah, just one. I've gathered a lot of fragments from every single uh, pillar. You guys saw the pillars last episode. I defeated each of them, like... 20 no like 10 10 to 20 times for sure and i got more than enough fragments for anything we need to build so um yeah let's kind of just grab all this material i don't know what that hood's doing there um here's just a couple things that i found uh something dropped a rifle scope which is i know it's a pretty good um it's accessory for ranged so i was just kind of cool that i found that uh here are the things let's quickly look at um kind of the to-do list for today well not well kind of for a <laughs> long term but uh today we're gonna go look at the plasm farm because i kind of built like a semi plasm farm uh we need to craft an emblem and craft the lunar hook um so we can craft the lunar hook and i actually it's been so long that i don't remember what kind of emblem i wanted to build but <laughs> yeah i'll probably remember it when it comes time uh so let's see we wanted the lunar hook. That is what we wanted. There is the lunar hook, guys. So our Christmas hook is going to be replaced, but that is a little bit too bad. Ooh, solar eruption. I actually heard this was kind of an amazing weapon, so I'm going to make that real quick. We're going to make each pillar. Yeah, let's just make this pillar. Let's kind of look at um, some of the things they make. Let's make this pillar. And this pillar. Cool. And we'll make, like, maybe, uh, okay, that'll be enough. Seven of those will be enough. So, yeah, uh, that is pretty cool. Now, what do we, ha where do we have to go? Oh, there it is. It was this, the Avenger emblem. I think this is what we wanted. All right, guys. So, yeah, that is exactly what I wanted. Uh, we're going to put a cool little, um, prefix on that actually let's go do that right now do i have money uh okay well you know what i'll put a prefix on it in a little bit um but yeah so we got all three four uh monoliths which is pretty cool yeah let me clean up my inventory real quick and then we'll do some more stuff all right guys so we crafted the emblem and we crafted the lunar hook uh let's quickly go look at the plasm farm all right, guys, so we are here, whoop, a little bit of a lag spike at uh, Skeletron's dungeon, and actually, I'll show you on the map real quick. This is the plasm farm on the map. Um, you guys will take a, you guys will see it better in a second, but yeah. Um, I forgot what I needed plasm for, but I remember I needed some plasm, and I just built a farm randomly. It took like, I kind of did it over a couple of episodes, but yeah, if we drop in here, um, I took the dungeon and I just made layers. And of course, with the Stardust Dragon, he he just flies straight through the layers. And yeah, he just kind of kills them. Um, it's not really much of a farm because I can actually die and stuff. But uh, it's an easier way to collect uh, plasm for sure. Like right there, there's a plasm. Um, so yeah, I just kind of stand here while the guy does some work. And that is just kind of the plasm farm. I built it kind of for no reason, but it's okay. Um, so, here's the thing, guys. The next boss is obviously the Moon Lord, and I want to defeat him very, very soon. And quickly, this truffle still hasn't arrived. I've been waiting for like 10 episodes, and the truffle is still not here, guys. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Of course, I, okay, whatever. I don't even care about the truffle anymore. Um, so, the strategy for beating the Moon Lord... Or, or the first one I'm going to try is adding rails across the entire world and just kind of like uh, soaring with the rail and throwing my weapons at them. And that's going to be the first strategy. Uh, so we're going to need to add rails across the world. And that's what these are for right here. So um, I didn't want to just like farm or I didn't want to just find. Actually, these are actually useless. I built these. I bought these for no apparent reason. I don't even need these. Um, so I didn't want to just like go find rails underground because you get nothing from it. So I got my materials together 
And where can we build railings? At what thing? Alright guys, you guys, I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played Terraria for about a week. There we go. Rails. And we can make tons and tons and tons of them. We're going to need a good couple stacks uh, to make it across the world. We'll have more than enough for sure. I was actually surprised how many rails this made. This made. I thought we were going to need a lot more materials, but I guess not. Let's make as many as we can. I don't think there's such thing as wasting at this moment in time. And if we need more, we'll make more. But yeah, guys, um, that's really my next job. I just have to kind of put it across the world and then we'll make a minecart. Uh, how do I make a minecart? I don't even say make a minecart. I probably have one around here somewhere. But yeah, guys, that is my next job. Okay, guys, so real quickly, um... I made a minecart, but I think I left it back. So the minecart, just for you guys' reference, is made out of wood, iron, or lead at an anvil. <clears throat> yep, it's right here. And I enchanted the emblem. At this moment, I don't have the money, but the first thing I got was arcane, and arcane isn't terrible. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to replace this for now. Just for now, though. And what is this? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to put this on, and that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so I am done with the railing. As you can see, it does span across the entire world. Got myself a minecart, got myself some potions. And this is going to be kind of like a first actual attempt to kill the Moon Lord, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's try it out. Going to roll a little bit, and hopefully we can kill him the first time. If we don't, I kind of expect that. If we don't, if we do, I'm kind of surprised, but... Okay, are you coming, dude? I think he's got to be soon, so I'm going to start rolling a bit faster. There he is, guys. There he is. Alright, guys. Well, the first attempt was kind of failed, but that's just because I lost life way, way, way too quickly. Uh, so, yeah, we can try it again, I guess. Alright, guys. So, we have gotten wrecked. Like, two times by the Moon Lord. And we were actually pretty close. A couple of times. But, I'm gonna... Here's where I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting. So now... Um, where is it? I'm gonna try the Spectre Hood. Instead of the Spectre Mask. Alright, 
Alright guys, so that did not work, and we have a present? Hmm. I don't even know where I got that from, but that's pretty interesting. So, yeah guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with the Moon Lord. I don't know how to beat him. Um, I know there's a couple things I could do, like make an arena. I'm not sure. Alright guys, so we have tried to kill the Moon Lord three times with this kind of like mage thing and it is not working out. So, I've looked uh, on the internet and I've seen lots and lots of guides. Uh, most of them <clears throat> are using things like Honey, uh, the Nurse, uh, but most of them are Melee because apparently Melee is the, kind of the easiest to do at the moment. So guys, what I'm going to do, I know this is kind of, kind of dumb because I'm mostly a mage, but I'm going to get... A full set of like melee gear. I already I already built the solar eruption earlier. Um, I'm gonna try to gather the best melee armor. Um, yeah, and the most important part is the arena. Um, we have to build an arena. It's gonna be kind of like two lines. There's gonna be lava, honey. Um, there's gonna be like fire camps and heart statues and all that. Uh, but yeah. Sorry guys, I was trying to fight the Moon Lord this episode. I don't think it's gonna happen. For the rest of this episode, I think we're gonna just we're just gonna get our melee build together and we're gonna build this arena. Alright guys, so you just watched me build the little arena now. I might make a couple more changes, but now is like really important because we're going to make the armor and the accessories. Uh, so I've spent like a couple hours getting all the materials together. So the Star Veil is one of them. Charm of Myths is another one. So we want to make the Moon Shell and we want... It's probably something different. You know what? Get this stone out of here. I don't even... Where is my stone? Get that stone out. Alright, so the next thing we need... We need this sunstone and we need this moonstone. And that will make this. And with that, we can make the celestial shell. Uh, so there are three new accessories for the warrior... Yeah, and then we'll actually have to take this out. Now, we have to make the armor. All right, for the armor, we want to go over here. Now, let's get this. Why do I have stone on me again? I shouldn't have that stone on me. All right, so here, we don't want to make chlorophyte armor. What we do want to make is this turtle stuff. So we make, I actually got three shells perfect for those. And with that, we make the beetle armor, which is insane. Oh, gosh, okay. Hmm. This might be a little bit more useful, but we need to make the beetle leggings. Do we have everything? The beetle helmet, the beetle leggings. Alright, so we need to pick between the beetle shell or the scale mail. So this one has 20 defense and 6 movement and melee. Alright, and we will probably want the shell just for this fight. Okay, so let's take a kind of a look at our new stuff. Now, let's go over here to this chest so I can kind of put, like, my mage away. Because I will go back to the mage right after this fight, but for this fight, we will use melee. So we just get that stuff out of the way. We're not going to be using this. We could actually just put that over there. Okay, so the things we'll be using is the Fishron Wings, the Avenger Emblem, the Celestial Shell, the Star Veal, and the Charm of Myths. And for the armor, we'll be using the Beetle Armor, because that is the best melee we have at the moment. So that is pretty cool, guys. So that is all filled out. All I need to do is enchant those real quick. And to be honest, I think... We might be ready for the fight. Um, I probably have to get some more potions together, but that's about it. 
all right guys so i've got the godly solar eruption i've got every single one of these to warding i've got the beetle armor guys we are set for this fight now this fight is gonna be first thing next episode so yeah i'm sorry guys i'm gonna have to make you wait but it is going to be the first thing next episode. Next episode, I'm going to say, hey guys, it's me, Aqua, and we're going to get straight into the fight. But yeah, guys, I am very, 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 very confident that we could beat him this time. I feel very empowered. So guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.